Hi guys, we're out today and we're going to do another installation. Today we're going to install our universal water adapter onto a couple of different kayaks here. And I'm going to just run through uh, what our universal water adapter is. Uh, our, the, what we call a universal water adapter is actually a, a Vibe Bixby rudder that we developed together. And it is made to go on pretty much any kayak that has a 10 millimeter rudder adapter um, bracket of any sort. Um, so today I'm going to show you how that rudder goes onto uh, an existing Vibe kayak and it also how to put that rudder on other kayaks that may not have a rudder bracket. So I'm going to take the rudder out of the box and I'm going to show you what the components are that come with the rudder. And then I'm also going to take the, the J2 kit apart and show you what the motor and the battery look like in there. And we're going to do the installation of the motor onto the rudder and then the rudder onto the kayak. So we have our rudder box open. We have our rudder out here. You'll notice that this rudder actually has an end cap and the cap comes off to allow the motor to connect to the rudder. So I'll show you how, show you how to do that in a second. You also get a set of nuts and bolts. Uh, the nuts and bolts that are on the rudder are a little bit too short for the motor. So you do have a uh, set of nuts and bolts that come uh, in the package. You also have a clam cleat and a pull rope. Uh, on the shear water, uh, for instance, you will have a pull rope already. Uh, but on some kayaks you won't so if you're doing this as a DIY installation you will need that pull rope to pull your rudder out of the water when you don't want to be motorized or have the rudder in the water. Of course we have our J2 kit here which includes your motor, battery, uh, charger, kill switch and remote. So we'll open that up. When you first open it up you'll get this user guide. Please read the user guide as it does have a lot of information that is useful for operating and taking care of your product. You have your decal and we have, of course, our battery, charger, remote, kill switch with a small Allen key to open and clean the back of your motor if you need to. And of course, we have the J2 motor here, uh, which we're gonna install onto our rudder today. So let's do it. So to put the motor on the rudder, we're gonna take the rudder cap off and replace it with the motor. There we are guys. Uh, now the cable can go to either side of the rudder depending on your preference which side you want to pass it on through. Um, you can put the cable to the right or the left of the motor. So once we have that in we are finished. So our motor is now on our rudder and we are ready to put the rudder onto our kayak here. Uh, again the shear water already has that 10 millimeter pin and this rudder actually comes with the shear water. So we're going to put that in there. We have our locking pin here to keep the rudder in place. We can run our cable to the side here, to the back of the kayak, and we'll show you how to connect your battery to that motor in a second. Uh, the rudder lines on this kayak already run from the foot steering that we have on the kayak to the back of our kayak. So we're just gonna give it a couple of loose ties right now just to show you how that works. But essentially, this is where you would tie in your rudder lines for your steering. So just a quick loose knot on here for now. Um, you know, if you want to make this a quick release, you can get small cantilevers and uh, use those uh, to, um, or carabiners, sorry. You can use small carabiners to, uh, to tie to this rudder uh, adapter. Uh, but if you're not taking it on and off, you can just simply tie these in. Um, before you do this, you want to adjust your foot steering as well to make sure you have the same pull from both sides uh, before you tie your lines in. Uh, now, it, it will take a couple of trips on the water for you to, to fine tune this and you may have to get off your kayak a couple of times to get all the, the lines tight and the way you like it. Uh, but essentially, that's it. It's as simple as getting uh, a shear water um, motorized on the rudder. 
Uh, Shearwater also does offer a hand steering on their kayak, so you can tie the same lines onto a hand steering system that they have uh, that sits on either left or right of your uh, kayak when you're sitting down. Uh, and that's it on this kayak, guys. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to connect your battery to this now and uh, how to power up your motor. One more thing before we uh, hook up our battery is our pull cord. And on the Shearwater, again, the pull cord is included in the kayak. Uh, so when you get your kayak, you're going to have this cord on there already. But we're going to tie that cord here. And I'm just going to give it a couple of knots just, just for demonstration purposes. But you want to have this knot on here nice and tight. And this is what we're going to use when we want to pull our motor out of the water. Okay. Now, as I said before, you do get that clamp cleat that you want to install right beside your seat, either on the left or right of the kayak and that'll allow you to lock the cord down into the clamp cleat and have your motor out of the water. And what's important to also note is when you want to pull your motor up, you want to use your foot pedals or your hand steering to make sure the motor is pointing sort of backwards because if, you're, if your motor is like this, you're going to have a really hard time pulling it out of the water when the motor is in the water. So you want your motor centered and then pull out. When you release the motor, you want to release it quickly so the reverse pin locks into place so you can do reverse. If that reverse pin is not locked in well, if it's not pushed in all the way, it's going to kick up again when you try and go in reverse. So if it's locked in nicely, then it'll stay when you're trying to go into reverse. Okay. Now we have our rudder in place. We have our pull cord in place. What we want to do now is connect the motor to the battery. Now here's our battery, the PP378. We have, you'll see that there are three ports in the back. You have your charging port, your auxiliary 12 and 5 volt port, and we have our main uh, motor port here. So that's the one we're interested in right now. Now, one thing I forgot to mention when I was showing you guys the kit, there is a small bottle of dielectric grease that comes with your kit. So we want to put a little bit of dielectric grease in that connection there. So it protects those pins from corroding, especially if you're near salt water. And the way you do this is you'll notice you have five pins in your connector there and five pins on your wire. So you want to line those up together and make sure those two tabs that are marked are also lined up together. Once they're lined up, you can push it in and do a 175 degree turn on this until you feel a little bit of a click under your thumb. And now we're connected to our motor. We have our kill switch that we want to put on our life vest, our wrist, or our ankle, somewhere where if you fall off your kayak, the kayak won't keep going on you. Once you put your kill switch on, you'll also get your battery status indication there. And of course, we have our remote, which you can wear on your wrist, you can put on your paddle, you can put anywhere on your kayak. Essentially, the remote and the battery both float, so if they do fall off, they are, you're not going to lose it, hopefully. So there is our remote, and we have 12 speeds forward and of course three speeds in reverse. It is okay to run your motor for a couple of seconds at low speeds in air, but it is not okay to run your motor in air for long extended periods or at very high speeds. And that's it guys. That is our installation of our universal rudder or gravity rudder on the Shearwater kayak. So now that you've seen how we install the rudder adapter on a kayak that has a 10 millimeter pin, uh, like the Shearwater for instance, we're going to do the installation. I'm going to show you what your options are if you don't have a 10 millimeter bracket on your kayak. So we have two options of what um, is called a gudgeon. And a gudgeon is simply a bracket for your rudder pin. So we have a simple gudgeon and we have a more sort of a complicated gudgeon that we use for kayaks that don't have a flat back. And I'll show you how that goes on there as well. That gudgeon comes like that with a few rivets and nuts and bolts. Now you may need uh, more hardware than this depending on your application. This is a bit of a DIY project doing this gudgeon and what we'll do is uh, we'll link some uh, pictures below in this video and you'll also have uh, different uh, ways of putting this on that we'll, we'll just cover in this video. But basically a gudgeon is a 10 millimeter uh, bracket that will hold your universal rudder in place like so. Now in a kayak like the Old Town uh, uh, PDL, for instance, uh, or the Wilderness kayaks, you will have inserts on the back of your kayak that you can attach this um, bracket to. Um, so that's a very simple installation. But on other kayaks, like the one I've got behind me here, 
um, that's a lifetime kayak, you won't have that option because the back is either too narrow or it's got curves or, or what, what will you. So um, if, you bring over, if you come over, I'll show you how this works on here. So this is essentially our more complicated gudgeon here. And these arms are adjustable. They are soft stainless steel. So you're able to adjust these and you can even um, push them down or up. Uh, what we've got here is we basically wrap this gudgeon around the kayak. Uh, we've, we've got a, an access hole here that we drilled into the kayak previously. So that allows us to get inside the kayak and um, put some nuts and bolts on there. But the idea here is you've got a, a bracket, a stainless steel bracket that wraps around the kayak, gives you a little bit of room on the bottom. I'm, I'm going to even lift this so you can see how we, uh, we've got these last two screws in there on the bottom. The really critical element here is you cannot drill holes in your kayak below water line. So as long as you stay above the water line, you're fine. You can drill holes. Uh, you still do want to use some silicone and you'll see some silicone here we've used around the screws to make sure you're sealed. Uh, but essentially, once this is in place, then your rudder is just going to simply fall in there, just like the other bracket. And then you tie in your steering lines. In this case, we've already got our steering lines set up here on two eye bolts. Oops. So there's one. And there's the other one. Now again, I'm, this kayak is not designed really for a rudder system. So you'll see the front has these grooves for your foot to rest. Uh, so this, we won't have a foot steering option in this kayak. So we've got our hand steering installed on here that we use to steer the motor with. Okay, and that is our, the Bixby hand steering system. Again, like the previous model, you can run your cable even through the bottom of the gudgeon if you wanted to and onto the back of your kayak to hook up to your motor. Oh, sorry, to hook up to your battery. So your battery will sit in the back. And um, that's it, it's as simple as that, guys. So if your kayak is a little bit unusual and it doesn't have a flat back or, or a 10 millimeter pin, that is your option for getting a universal rudder on your kayak. So that's it, that covers all of the options you have for using our universal rudder adapter on different kayaks. And uh, if you have any questions, you hit us up at the support line and uh, see you on the water. Mm -hmm.